everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to change the color of a dog in Photoshop for my portrait creator. I've gone ahead and opened the golden doodle PNG file and I want to change him to a chocolate brown. So I'm going to go ahead and choose image, adjustments and hue and saturation. Here you'll find a whole bunch of sliders that we're just going to fiddle with and until we actually get the results that we're after. So as I mentioned, I want to make him chocolate brown. So he's quite bright and yellow at this point. So I need to bring the saturation quite, um, quite a bit lower. And you'll see he starts getting a bit muted, which is exactly what we're going for. And I'm just going to change this hue slider, which is actually the color slider. So that's, I'm going to adjust just to make it a little bit more sort of chocolatey in color. And then we need to make him slightly darker. So I'm just, again, adjusting the lightness uh, slider so that we can get him to more of a chocolate brown. And if we bring him down just a dash, let's have a look what that looks like. I think he needs to go back up again. And maybe slightly darker. I think he's starting to look chocolate brown. I think that's quite a good starting point. And the next thing we can do just to make slightly, um, you know, more particular adjustments to the color, we can go ahead and choose image adjustments and color balance. And with the midtone selected, there you can choose the shadow or highlights to play with, but I'm just going to use the midtones for now. I'm just going to use the slider just to make him slightly more yellow and maybe a dash more red and here you can get quite particular about the shade of color that you want which is quite good and I'm going to go ahead and choose the shadows at this point again I'm just slightly adjusting things having a look at the results until I'm happy with the exact color that I want. I think that looks pretty good. And there you have it, we've changed the dog color without affecting any of the details of the line work. Now I'm going to show you how we can add some interesting little uh, details to a dog. So if you have a dog that has a whole bunch of markings and you, you want to add these to the actual original um, illustration, that's just pretty easy. What we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we lock the pixel layer. So in your layers panel, if it's not up, you're just going to come over to windows and choose layers. We're going to make sure that we lock the pixels, which is this icon to the left hand side of, um, of the, all these icons at the top. And you'll see that layer is actually locked, it's an indication. And then I'm going to come over to my brush panel and I'm going to select a brush. In this instance, I'm going to, I'm going to choose the uh, touch of rough. Um, you'll see in your Photoshop should come with a whole bunch of standard brushes. What you're actually looking for is something that's got a, a kind of like a really rough look to it, just to match the illustration style of the dog. So I'm going to choose that one and close that. And then the trick is to select a color using my eyedropper, which is I on my keyboard. I'm coming over to my uh, uh, foreground color and selecting that and then I'm just going to make it slightly lighter. So as I mentioned the, the key to this is to kind of layer elements and use shades of the original dog color. So I've made it slightly lighter going back to my brush which is B on your keyboard and I'm just going to randomly add some markings. And just using my mouse, very randomly, I'm just making areas here and there to give it a bit of a natural look. And because we locked the pixels, you'll see it's not actually going outside the dog, which is pretty handy. Okay, so that I would say is our first kind of layer of markings. Now we're just going to add another layer, which is a bit lighter. 
And again, just randomly making areas with my mouse. Just clicking here and there. It doesn't have to be precise, because as you know, the little peaches markings are never that precise. <laughs> and we're going to keep lightening as we go. And the lighter areas um, you'll see will, you know, just to keep it a little bit more natural, we're going to do less and less of them. So your bigger areas will be uh, your, you know, the, uh, the original sort of base color. And then the lighter colors just get less and less as we go. So we're just building up sort of natural markings. I would say we're getting somewhere. Maybe just another lighter bit. Something like that. You can always undo what you don't like. Like I don't like that. Okay, so the idea is for you to just experiment with the kind of brushes that you have available. Um, as I said, I just use Touch of Rough. You can actually um, go ahead and find one that you particularly like, um, you know, just to see the results uh, that you're after. For example, that one's not bad. That, that would give you kind of like a uniform um, speckly effect. And of course, if we increase the size, you'll see it'll cover a larger area. So that's also quite handy uh, just to experiment with some of the brushes, but that gives you an idea of how you can add some patches to an existing dog. I hope you found that helpful and I hope you enjoy creating your portraits.